Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to take a look at Kramer's rule. Now Kramer's rule is a method using determinants to solve a system of linear equations. Let's start with a simple system, just two variables and two equations. How do we do that? Well, we create three matrices. Let's call them A, B, and C. The first matrix A is created by taking the coefficients of the two variables. So this is the first matrix, one, two, negative two, and four. The second matrix, let's call it B, is created by replacing the coefficients of the first variable, the x variable, with the constants that we have over here on the other side of the equal sign. So that becomes, instead of one and negative two that we have here, it'll become four and one, and we maintain the coefficients of the second variable, two and four. Now we create a third matrix, let's call it C, and we create that matrix by replacing the coefficients of the second variable with these constants and returning the coefficients of the first variable as they were. So here again we get 1 and negative 2 for the first column, but the second column now becomes 4 and 1. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the determinant of each of these, uh, each of these matrices. So the determinant of A is equal to, and of course that would be 1 times 4 minus 2 times a negative 2, which is equal to 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. The determinant of B can be found by taking this product here, 4 times 4, and subtracting the product here, 2 times 1 which is equal to 16 minus 2, which is equal to 14. The third determinant, determinant of C, is equal to the product of those two, 1 times 1, minus the product of those two, which is 4 times a negative 2. So that becomes 1 minus, or that would be plus 8, or a 9. Now to find the solutions for x and y, by definition, using Kramer's rule, the value for x that will satisfy those two equations is equal to the determinant of b. This is where we replace the coefficients of x by the constants here, and by taking the determinant of b divided by the determinant of a, this is where we just simply took all the coefficients of the x and y variables here, and that will then give us the value for x that satisfies that set of equations. Well, that's quite amazing, but it does. So the determinant of b is equal to 14, and the determinant of a is equal to 8, and that simplifies to 7 over 4. We can find the solution for y by taking the determinant of c, which is where we replace the coefficients of the y variable by these constants right here. That's, we did that right there. And then we divide that also by the determinant of a. So in this case, the determinant of C ended up being 9, and A ended up being 8. So you can see here that X is equal to 7 over 4, and Y is equal to 9 over 8. Now we can do a quick check to make sure we did that correctly. We can go to one of our equations and plug those values in and see if we get the right solution. So in the first equation, we have X, which is 7 over 4, plus 2 times y, which is 9 over 8. And let's see that that is indeed equal to 4. So we can simplify that a little bit. We have 7 over 4 plus 2 and 8 simplified. That becomes 9 over 4. Is that indeed equal to 4? And sure enough, we have 16 over 4 is 4. And therefore, we know that we got the correct answers. So notice that with Kramer's rule, and using determinants, we can very easily solve a system of linear equations like that. And that's how it's done.